Is that a yellow signal? Oh, it is yellow signal. Shoot. So let's slow down here. Is that a red signal? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, that was a red signal. All right, so first we put our brakes on. I can use this, first I'm acknowledge the alarm that's down here. Okay, alarm's off. I now can look back and I can use the mouse and I can click on the trip hawk release. Then I'm using my blue lever to put it into restricted mode. I'm now in restricted mode, you can see there. I'm gonna zoom in just for you. Usually I don't zoom in, but just for you, I'll zoom in. Yeah, you can see. So I was in this mode. I was in this mode. But now you see I'm going into this mode. So now I'm in restricted forward. Okay, let's look back forward again. So now, yeah, you see now it only allows me to go to, well, 10. It goes to 20, but it only allows me to go 10. Now I have to make sure I'm in braking mode, but I'll go back now to driving mode. And now it lets me go up to 10 miles an hour. 10 fast miles an hour, which is brutal. Feels like I'm in the penalty box. Well, I kind of am. <laughs> okay, so now we just have to wait for a bit. During editing, I'll cut through this because it's boring to watch. Oh, this is very cool. Imagine for the passengers, it's pretty boring right now. I'm going back to this mode. Here, just for you, I'll zoom in. So I'm gonna try now, you can see I have my blue lever. I'm gonna try going back up the trip cock mode. And now let's see if my, yeah, my speed's back to normal. So I think it's just one signal or three minutes, I guess it is. Okay, and we're back up and running at a much faster speed. Okay, here we are. Now this train is getting pretty cool. So this is the S7 Plus 1. Um, yeah, first time I'm trying this out, this is Train Simulator 2020. Um, this is cool. Um, slowly makes me realize that I need a new computer. <laughs> Only getting around, if I'm lucky, 20 frames a second. Um, but it is impressive what this all has, it really is. Kind of gives you a new understanding for Metro drivers. So I'm, I live in Montreal, so I call it the Metro, I guess. This is the Tube. So it gives you a new understanding for the Tube drivers. I'll show you what I hooked up here. I have the Thrustmaster, this is my throttle, and I resemble the same thing like the train you see down here. Um, I actually hooked up I'll give you a picture later on the back. When you click this, it turns the, um, what do you call this, the throttle or whatever. Um, I'm a realism buff, as you know, by watching my videos, so <laughs> I didn't take the easy route and do shift E so I could just lift my hand off of this. So I literally, when I'm driving this now, I have to hold this the entire time. If I let go, the train stops, but that's reality or <laughs> that simulators in reality, right? Um, okay, on the right side, I have the horn. You can go down. Because when I hear CN trains and I hear the horn, it really brings back my childhood. So I'm wondering if this is kind of like some inner child that gets launched when you hear that <laughs> or when you start using this yourself. So I can actually see the throttle moving here, um, which is nice, and I can kind of look out the the front, um, so that works out good. It moves the mouse to the back, and you can see all of the startup procedures. Now I have another button. I have a button here, and I have this lever. So the button will actually turn the key, so watch. Right now the key is off, I don't know if you can see that, but you just click once, the key turns on, and then you can use this blue lever here. I'll try to get both in the screen. And um, you can see here, I'm actually going into trip cock. Is that what it is? Trip cock mode just means it'll go as fast as it can, but then it'll stop 
<laughs> for a better term. Uh, when I release it goes back to the middle. I do have, there are some glitches sometimes with the mouse, so just make sure you kind of close all other programs and just have the relevant programs open and it should work well with the, the mouse going back and forth. Um, okay, so now we'll just put in our train number. I don't think this really matters, so I just put in whatever. Uh, whoops, let me just look up here, 222. Two, two. I'll just put a whatever right now. Um, here, alt gate 201. Oh yeah, you have to push the, um, was a dead man switch? You have to push that in order to get it uh, to stop the beeping. I'm not sure if the train will turn off or whatever. I haven't really read about that yet. Okay, so now we confirm. So now I'll go back down. So now if we look on the outside of the train, yeah, it says Aldgate, which is, which is cool. Oh yeah, you have the 222, that's what I put. Yeah, so that works out well. Okay, so now we're in the train. Um, the light, I couldn't figure out if there was a key switch, so I just have to use the mouse for the lights. Now I can push my dead man switch like this. Can push, and now I can get the train going. Oh, it feels good. So I also have another key so I can look at the heads up display but when I release it goes away because I'm a real simulation buff so I don't want to see stuff unless I kind of really need to see it um, obviously you need to kind of see it because I don't this is not like my job so I'm not like learning all this so obviously to make the game kind of more of a game it's nice to show it but then when you let go it's gone so that kind of really puts you back in the game you know so right now the max is 15 so I'm going slow and I'm coming into the station and we're gonna let the passengers uh, on here. So coming in the station, it's actually pretty good. I can slowly, when I hear the sound, I know I'm coasting. And um, I'm just gonna kinda coast in here now. I can see my speed here. I'm going just over 10 miles an hour. Uh, 10, 20, yeah, 10 miles an hour. And now because I have three screens, I can actually see out the side screen. There's a Chevron, they call it. Let me slow down now. Okay, let me slow. Whoop, a little too much. I'll try to coast a bit more. Oh, damn. Too early. <laughs> Let's go a little more. And you can see... Oh! Oh, I went past it. <laughs> anyway, maybe the next station I'll get it. So the doors, I got the doors working, so check it out. So when I go... Here, I'm just going to adjust my two views. So the... There's different views. So the one view I'm gonna do on the left side of the train and the other view I'll do on the right side. So right now we're on the left side. So I actually got the button working so I can push and the door is open, which is very cool. And um, yeah, we'll just wait for the doors to go. I actually got the door close button working as well because you have to initiate the door close to turn off the, the lights. So I got that working too with the bottom button. So you can download this from uh, my website, simbicheck.com. On my Patreon screen, you can get all of the newest configs that I'm launching and they're all there. And then you can hook this up to Toolset Pro. And there's a lot of videos explaining how to, how to do that as well on my uh, website. And you can see when I look on the outside, it automatically puts the bottom part on, which is good. And when I release, it goes back and removes the heads up display. Okay, so you see now the door's closed, but it didn't turn off the red. So you have to push this button. And... There, it's blue. So now they should go off, and it's off. That means they're now locked. Okay, let's get going. Dead man switch. Push ahead. So I'm just looking at my heads up display a little bit. Yes, yeah, so now I can go up to 60 miles an hour, so I'll release. And now let's go up to 60 miles an hour. So I look in here, you see that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60.
Okay, we're up to 40 miles an hour. And I can look at my heads up display every once in a while just to kind of see what's coming up. There's a signal coming. So whenever I see a signal coming, I like to kind of let it go and force myself to kind of see the signal in reality so I can really see if it's coming. Okay, we're up to 50 miles an hour. Signal should be soon. Yeah, we got a green signal. Okay, I believe we're stopping at the next station. I'm gonna slow down a little bit, almost at 60 miles an hour. Oh. Wish I have a signal coming very soon. Okay, less than a mile I have to stop as well. So now I'm going to start slowing down. Now you need the heads up display just to kind of verify sometimes where you are. Right now I'm at half braking capacity. And the goal is to come into the station at 20 miles an hour. So right now I'm at 40, coming down to 30. I'm just gonna peek at my heads up display. Okay, now let's come into the station. Yeah, now I'm gonna slow down a bit more. Okay, there's my 20. Now I can kind of coast. Now we'll see if I can hit the chevron this time. There we go, that's 20 miles an hour. Very nice. Slowly come up to the edge. I'm gonna slow down now. Oh. Oh, did I get it? Coast a bit more. Oh, no, come on a bit more, where is it, where's my chevron, did I miss it, ah shit, I missed it, no it's right there, did I completely miss it? Oh yeah, I completely missed it. All right, next time. Let's open the doors, push my left door. And there you go, the door is open. So when you hear that noise, you always have to just hit the dead man switch. I'm pushing my button now to make sure the doors are closed. I'm waiting for that blue light to turn on. Red lights to turn off. We're good to go. Get dead man switch. I'm holding it and I'm sliding up and here we go. So we're in a 60 zone, so now here we go. Now remember, I'm a huge simulator fan, so I don't even let myself push the button and just watch the train on the outside. I'll obviously I want to see it because it looks amazing, so I want to look at it. But my whole thing is then when I release, I'm back in the cab because I'm driving a train, you know. So I want to get how it looks, and it looks really cool. But as soon as I release, I'm back in the cab. Now in the cab too, I do have the mouse going right, so you can look right and going left. But with the three screens, I actually can see it all. So if you only have one screen, you can use the shortcuts to look left and look right. Like for example, if you're coming in for the Chevron, you could use that as well, which uh, should work out pretty good. Okay, up to 55 miles an hour almost. And 60 is our max right now. So let's look at the heads up display. 
me up. There we go. Now the other thing to say is, because there's no API, like what this is doing is it's firing keyboard commands. I did map some keyboard commands to nudge it up, nudge it down, just in case it ever doesn't, it's not in sync. You can use, I have two keys that nudge it up, nudge it down, which kind of works well, so you can just kind of fix it yourself quickly without going to the keyboard, because the worst thing ever right now is to go to the keyboard, it kind of takes you out of the game, you know? Okay, so, in just under a mile, I'm going to be stopping. So I kind of want to force myself to kind of learn what a mile is. Like, I assume a mile's up near that tree line. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. No, it looks like that's half. No, see, that wasn't even a mile. That was like a quarter mile. See, I'm, right now I'm at 40, negative 41%. So I want to kind of not break as hard. So you get an idea looking at it, but you always have to fine tune yourself by looking at the uh, heads up display. That's okay. You gotta look sometimes, right? <laughs> okay, so point 20, so I'm gonna slow down a bit more now. Remember, we wanna come into the station at 20 miles an hour. Okay, that's 30. A little fast, there we go, that's 20. Now I'm going to kind of coast a little bit. Now we'll see this time if I can hit that chevron. Oh, come on. Where are you? Okay, let's slow down a bit more. It's coming up there. Okay, where are you? Chevron! Miss it again? I completely missed it again. 